welcome to Raflims. This is Farro Hossain, and today we are going to learn about the global system preferences of Koha Integrated Library System in Koha Operational and Administrative Skills Series. So the global system preferences are something like the advanced administration of Koha or the way you want to control or present your system in general or globally. So here we have few preferences and then we have few values. We have selected few values. Uh, in this video, we are going to cover the accounting. We will cover the acquisition, administration, authorities, cataloging, circulation, and enhanced content. In the next video, we'll talk about the OPAC patterns and searching. So to start working, I would recommend to use Koha manual. I have already opened the Koha manual and you can write the Koha manual in your web browser and the version you are using, for example, 19.11 or whatever the version, it could be 18 point, whatever the version you are using. So you just write to Koha manual. Let me close these. So you can see. And the Koha, it's Koha manual for 19.11. Let me open this. There you can see the global system preferences. And you just click on global system preferences. So the global system preferences, as I said, control the way you your Koha system works in general. Set these preferences before anything else. After the basic administration, you have to work on Koha global system preferences. So let me open the Koha demo site. Koha demo site is actually for practices purpose don't use Koha demo site for uh, the installation purpose. They are actually for practices purpose. Alternatively, you can visit the Koha community site. There you can find the Koha demo. And as I said, the manual, I mean the Koha manual is one of the best document to understand Koha deeply. So for deep understanding, you must have to read the Koha manual. And let me open one of them so i think let's open this one and you have to log in by the giving uh, login password i think i am already logged in with this so here you can see this is the staff uh, panel i mean this is actually the staff panel so in administration tab as i said it's a part of administration uh, something like advanced administration so you will find the global system preferences so after the basic uh, after setting the basic uh, preferences and the basic administration you have to work on the global system preferences you can search any value from the tab or you just write here for example you just click here and you can see the preferences and the values. So let me open accounting first. And in accounting, you can see we have three values in policies. Let me zoom this so you can see easily. You have three values here. So you can see, uh, let it go the first as it is. <clears throat> the second value said, uh, fine payment auto pop-up. It's actually when you perform circulation and you receive some fine, so there's an auto pop-up will be display for printing purpose. I think it's a good thing. You need to add this. Do. When you, when you do this, I mean, when you select this option, it's you can see the modifier will appear here and then you have to save this. Uh, preferences. Then the next thing is actually use cash register. Let me show you 
how this will work actually and let me open this in some other tab so let me open this here again you can see so there you can see in accounting there's nothing when i click when i select this option for example this one i said use cash register cash register with the accounting system to track payment so when i just select use cash register and it will show you the cash register here let me refresh this so you can see the cash register here and then you can create a cash register for the library you're working for example then we need to provide some cash register name so but it's not so much important features so let me show you some other in global system preferences i have written actually few so let me open all of them in account in acquisition we have to work on these values acquisition create item claim bcc copy currency format and email purchase suggestions let me show you so when you open this acquisition tab there you can see acquisition create item so remember in koha we have two types of catalog i mean in two layers of cataloging one is to record is for your record i mean suppose you have a book and you have to catalog this so first of all you have to ca catalog the record uh, i mean the descriptive cataloging for example title author and you have to provide the, the imprint i mean the publisher place of publication and physical description and the note area so you have to provide all these information in record side the second is actually item side i mean the item type for example the copy number for example the accession number the library i mean the location and the call number so you have to provide the acquisition detail as well so the purpose of this value is actually to create an item when placing an order or cataloging the record or receiving an order so it will create an item when you order the best thing is here i think the cataloging the record when you cataloging the record it will create an item so that would actually be easy but if your policy say to create an item when you placing an order or when you receive an order so you can do this just uh, cataloging the record i think so as i recommend okay in acquisition the next thing is claims bcc copy so if you want to receive a blind copy i mean the bcc to uh, when you send a claim or for your serial or acquisition you just click here send i mean you select the send so, and then we have the currency format you can see this the currency format by default the currency format is like this 360000 and then the decimal and this amount so if you want to change this you can change it or you can leave this as it is so you will not see the us dollar sign if you have active your uh, own currency <clears throat> and then we have email purchase suggestions so if you want to receive purchase suggestions on your email you need to provide an email address either it could be the goha admin email address then you have to write the koha admin email address in the administration preferences or you can provide anyone 
email address by selecting this option email address for suggestions or the branch manager email address you just click on email address for suggestions and provide the email address for example let me write my you can also contact me on this email address and you can ask me anything if you want to and then This is another important actually the uh, value unique item fields you have to provide some unique item fields by default it's actually blank so there you have to provide some field for example barcode barcode could be unique or the accession number i mean the barcode and the accession number normally we are using for the same thing so you can provide the barcode as well or you can see the database column as well just click on that value and you can see what unique item you want to select and what value you want to select as for unique item barcode you can select this or you can select this whatever you want to but i would recommend to go with barcode because uh, every book every item has a different barcode similar for the accession number barcode and use acquisition framework for biblio records so if you want to if you have select this option i mean this option placing an order create item when you are placing an order you may also select this acquisition framework for biblio record use and then save acquisition preferences and after the acquisition we have administration in administration we will work on the email id of the koha administrator for example here we have a koha administrator and you can write your email id for example let me write my okay after the koha admin email address we need to see the no item uh, type image this is actually for your item type icon there you can see no that's mean if you open the opac or staff client for searching there will be no icon available like this when you click this when you i mean change this with yes so there you can see The icons will be displayed on your opac and also on your staff client in advanced search then there's a different types of email you can provide if you have selected this for your koha admin email then there's no need or if you want to provide some separate email addresses then you can and then there's a virtual shelves it's actually important check this if it is no then make it yes and in administration you can see this time out time out most of time you and the most of people actually experience that their staff client log out automatically and there will be a message of time out the right message of timeout so in that case you have to extend this by default it's one day so you can do this to three days or two days or whatever you want but one day is quite enough uh anyhow and then ssl client certificate authentication 
search engine by default zebra leave it zebra i would recommend to use zebra as a search engine it's quite easy and effective and you can search your uh, statistics uh, with koha community website and if you want to you just do this yes and you set and you may read it out uh, on the koha manual to complete details let me save this after the administration we have authorities authorities i'm not going to discuss this uh, preference in detail but most of the time of people has experience when they work on cataloging and on the author tab they stuck and there's a lock and the you cannot even write the author name so in that case you have to come authority or uh, and in general you have to come here biblio add authorities and allow this by default it's not don't allow and you have to allow this let me show you what happened when you not allowed okay let me open staff manual okay staff uh, client okay so i'm going to add a new record with the fast framework we have talked about fast framework in last video how we can add that framework and now you can see on the author tab like 100 and i'm going to write this record i mean the author name and this tab is actually locked i want to write the author name but it's locked to unlock this tab i want to go at the <coughs> authorities preferences and there i actually want to change this biblio add authority and i have to change this to okay this to this allowed have to make it allowed let's save and now let's see what happened now it's open so you can write your name I mean the author name not your name so this is like it so anyhow this way you can open this tab if you find this locked and by default it's actually locked so but i would recommend to use another thing you can use authorities for uh, the perfect spellings of authors name but there you have to work on authorities first and then catalog you, then you have to select some uh, authority for that particular book okay that's all for authorities and 